G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. When I'm using my router for one of the thousands of applications it gets used for in the shop, I very often have to make jigs. Now some of these jigs I use over and over again, some of them get used just once, some of them don't work as well as they should in the first place. Jig making is a really important part of woodworking. It's a really good skill to have and will often get you out of trouble where you're, you're stuck on a problem that you just can't do safely any other way. I have found this little tool from Mpower, it's called the CRB7, and it's essentially a multi-purpose router jig. So it's designed to do a whole bunch of different things. It has some different attachments that you can put on it to, again, do a whole bunch of different applications. And it has some features on it that I've just never really been able to introduce to my homemade jigs in any efficient manner. So the heart of this jig is the base plate, Every application, you just slide the router onto these rods. Your router must have uh, holes in its base plate that will accept these rods, and there's a big list on their Empower website that go through which ones do and don't work. I did notice that the Triton routers don't have those holes, so that's why I had to use my little DeWalt here. So, you just slide this on, and that is the heart of the jig. This action that allows your router to move up and down and then be locked into place with the screws that are probably going to be provided with your router. But the beautiful thing about this jig, which I've never been able to introduce into my homemade jigs, is this ability to micro adjust. So it's got this little wheel here. It allows you to move this router along these rails in really small, precise increments. So that means you can place it down on the job that you want to do and move it right up to the line that you've created or the mark that you've that you've created that you want to cut without having to like reset and tap and tighten everything up again it just works beautifully it's really clean such a simple feature that allows this to be really accurate and a lot easier to use than some of the homemade things that i've knocked together i want to really quickly run through the all of the jobs that this thing can do and I won't go into all the details of how that happens until afterwards. So this is for all of you people who are impatient. Okay, first of all, you've got a large base plate. So if you're routing on the edge of something, it gives you more surface area. You can attach a big handle to it and that stops you from tipping off the edge. Easy, really nice, big, slippery plastic base plate. Works great. Second thing it does really well is a small circle jig. You put a little pin in the bottom Stick that in your wood, runs around really nice and smoothly. Now you have a micro adjustment thing here which allows you to put the bit exactly where you need it to be. You've also got a whole bunch of these additional rods which allows you to do really long circle cutting as well, up to about 1.2 metres in diameter. So huge circles and small circles really easily. Uh, because you've got this base plate and the router is attached with this micro adjustment pin here, it works really well when you're running along a guide. So instead of having to set your guide uh, exactly in the position that you need it to be in order to cut your recess or channel, you can set it give or take, uh, you know, 10 centimetres as long as it's square to the board. You can put this in place, use these adjustments and the micro adjustment to put the, the router bit exactly where it needs to be and then run it through, instead of having to constantly tap and adjust your um, guide bar to exactly where it needs to be, the micro adjust does that for you. So that's that's really simple, and I like that feature because I'm, I'm often using a big guide to cut panels into separate pieces or cut dados or whatever I need to in big panels like that. They have designed this so you can do uh, edge mortises now they've designed it with these two little pins that you stick on the underside. I don't actually love that application and there is another way to do that that I'll talk about in a second, but it is possible and I think with some practice you could get good results, but I just didn't find it quite accurate enough for myself. First application that I want to show you is just the circle cutting jig. There's plenty of other circle cutting jigs out there. This one works really well. 
The main reason I like it, as I just mentioned, is that micro adjustment. It just makes it so much easier to get exactly where you need to be. The way the circle jig works is you've got this little brass pin with a screw and it just screws onto the base plate here. There's a whole bunch of different positions on the base plate that accept all sorts of different accessories, but we're just gonna screw that brass pin on. It's a six mil pin, so you need to drill a little tiny six mil hole in the area in the center of the circle that you wanna cut. It only needs to be about uh, five to six mil deep. That pin then sits in that hole and you can use the micro adjustment feature to move the router bit to exactly where it needs to be. So I've got the router basically where it needs to be, but not exactly. And then I've tightened up my two tightening screws on the micro adjustment rod, but the other rod is still free. So that means I still have the ability to turn this little thumb screw here and get that right in position, which it is. Then I can tighten up the opposing rod, which completely locks it into place. So to use this to do large circles, we're gonna get this brass pin and screw it into this little device which comes with the kit. What this does is that will then sit in our center hole and we'll use one of these additional rods which I've screwed into the uh, bolt on the end. There's only one bolt that will receive the rod. And then that rod slides through that device allowing you to use it like a large trammel or a really large router compass. So I can tighten that off there and then I can slide this router into position, use the micro adjust and do a nice large arc. In this case, I'm not gonna do a full circle. This next use is dead simple. Basically, if I wanted to cut a uh, dado in this board and I wanted to use an edge guide to do it, instead of measuring the exact distance from the edge of my router bit to the edge of my router, which would be running along the guide, I can just do it roughly and I know that the distance between the edge of this plate and the edge of the router is about, I don't know, 180 mil. So I make sure that I can, I clamp my guide somewhere in that ballpark. And then I put it in place. I can look at the line that I actually need to be cutting and I can use the micro adjustment on my base plate to get the router bit in exactly the right position without moving my guide. I'm not even gonna run through it through a cut because it's dead simple. It's a really small thing, but I think it's really useful. Certainly in the stuff that I do, I, I use it quite a lot. So to use this original kit, without the add-ons to uh, do edge mortises like this. You use these little pins, as I mentioned earlier. They go in these two holes on either side of the router bit. So you screw them in. They will need a little tighten with a, um, with a screwdriver, but for now I'm just gonna do them by hand. And what they do is help guide this base plate to get you a mortise on the edge of a board. Now, like I said, I haven't found this application to be um, super accurate, which is pretty much why they've introduced the additional kit, which does this really, really well. But what you do is you place this onto the edge of your board with your pins sitting either side, and then you twist it until those pins lock into place. And then you use that locked motion with that pressure to keep those pins really tight on the side of the board to guide your router up and down. So you can use the micro adjustment feature on the base plate to sit the router bit exactly where you need to be and this allows you to do mortises in the edge of the board with some accuracy. So the last thing that you can do with this basic kit without buying any of the extra accessories is do repeat dados. So the way this works is you put 
a little strip that is the exact width of your dado, screw it into the holes in the bottom that are already mounted on the base there, and you can run this strip as a guide bar through your dados in a repeating action that gets you exactly the same distance between each one every single time. So that'd be nice if you're doing big feature boards. It might doesn't have to be a square dado. You could do a little V groove. Just you need to match the profile that you're cutting with the piece that you're putting on the underside. You could even use this for doing sliding dovetails for some shelves or something, but it's more suited to doing repeated dado applications for a decorative effect. Those are all the jobs you can do with this as the one basic CRB7 kit, but they have two pretty cool additional packs that you can buy, which help you do some other really important jobs. The first one is pretty simple. It's an edge trimming kit. So if you've got, you know, you're building a shelf and you want to put a nice piece of hardwood edging, this kit allows you to run the router over to smooth that edging down to exactly the same level. Really simple and really accurate. So that's another kit that they provide for this CRB7. And the last one is actually a mortising kit specifically designed for edge mortising. So and I mentioned that you could do it with these two pins with the original kit. What this does is provide you these really large jaws that sit either side of the workpiece, gives you way more surface area, a lot more stability and more accuracy. And I found this to be really useful. I do these kinds of mortises fairly often and this just makes it quicker and more accurate and safer. And there's a few features on this that I think are really useful. You've got your micro adjustment here, but you also have the ability to attach additional pieces of timber or other substrate onto these jaws to give you even more surface area and stability.